Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about how to navigate your way through a soil texture triangle. And so probably in front of you, you have um, a worksheet that looks similar to this. Uh, any given sediment or soil type is going to have three different sediments. It's going to have any combination of sand, silt, or clay. So I'm just going to walk you through this and familiarize you with this. So um, the, all of the percent clays are going to be on this axis. It is important with your soil triangle that you pay careful attention to the angle that the number's on because that angle is going to correspond with the line. So this 10 is this line. So all soil samples with 10% clay can be found along that line. Your 20 is on this line, so forth and so on. Your sand is down here on this axis. Notice how the samples or the percentages are angled and they correspond with those lines. So 20% is going to be that whole line there, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then lastly, we have silt. And these numbers are angled like um, so, so they're going to correspond with these lines. So let's go on and look down below. And we have with uh, question B, 10% sand, 83% silt, and 7% clay. I'm going to start with the 10% sand just because 10% sand is already here on my axis. I'm going to make things easier on myself. So I'm going to identify my axis, which is sand, the 10%, which is right there. I have a sheet of paper that I'm going to just cover up um, the triangle, and it's going to this edge is going to be a placeholder here for all my 10% um, sand and I'm going to go back and take a look and the axis that I can see is silt so I'm going to see that it's 83 percent silt so keeping my sheet there on the 10 percent line I'm going to look for 83 percent silt 85 is roughly in there so we're 83 percent silt and 10 percent uh, sand come together that should also be where there is 7% clay. This is going to be a silt sample. So I'm going to write silt here. And for this part here, I really want for you all on the back just to be focusing on the water infiltration capacity. Uh, infiltration is how well water is moving through these soil particles. And so for silt, that has a medium water infiltration capacity. So I'm going to write medium water infiltration. I'm going to do one more with you and then I'll have you do the rest on your own. So for this one I have 42% sand and 37% clay. I'm going to add those together. That gets me 79. Of course because we're talking about percents we need to take that away from 100. So that gets me 21% silt. So I can choose any one of these. Um, I'm going to go on and try a different one. I'm going to start with silt, 21% silt. So I'm going to take that here. Know that that's the 20 line. My 21 is going to be right in here. I can see my um, sand axis pretty well. So I have 42% sand. So I'm going to find 42% sand, which is in about in there. Where those two come together, that should also be... Um, about 37% clay, and that gets us in the clay loam category. I'm going to label this one C, and this one back here B, and I'm going to write clay loam. And for this one, I'm going to look at both clay and loam. Clay has a poor infiltration capacity. That's because clay particles are so teeny tiny, right? And water can't move through it very easily. And I think we also said loam, which is medium. So we're going to write poor to medium water infiltration for this one. So I hope this helps. This is so I hope that this has helped today. This is definitely a skill set where it helps to just keep on working at it and give yourself um, a pat on the back when you start to feel um, more confident in this process. And as always, let me know what questions you have. Thank you.